Hey, my name's Aiden, and this is Talk Gaming's third week in the Indie Gaming League. I've been a bit slow with uploading these. I've been spending a lot of time working on my stream, like getting all the elements and things sorted out, as I'm now a caster for the Indie Gaming League. So if you'd like to see some more Indie Gaming League matches live, uh, you can head over to my Twitch down below. I will also be streaming talk gaming training sessions, scrims, and matches. So if you're interested in following us there, go ahead, check it out. Give me a follow on Twitch, even subscribe. It would definitely help me out. Okay, so first two weeks didn't go so well. Oh, well, in front of the net, luckily saved away by Aiden. Just 10 seconds left. Can GG Esports do it? With the five seconds on the clock, can they get the tying goal? Melvin's in front of the net and with one second remaining, he ties it up for GG Esports. They stay alive here in game two, trying to keep that lead in force. We are Pro goes up from the second touch. He gets it over everybody. And GG Esports wins game number two off of the double touch by we are pro oh, <sighs> oh. Um, so heading into the third week against fireborn gaming they are currently top of the league it's gonna be a tough game they won two lost zero we've won zero lost two so we decided to raise the stakes in this game to get us to play with a little more intensity and you know really fight for it mesmerized has been wearing a god awful topper this entire season it's with that backwards cap with nice shot on it no good no good if we we've decided if we win this game he's gonna as a forfeit take it off now in training and in our games what we started to see is that we know how to rotate we know how to rotate on offense we know how to rotate on defense we got the basics down we understand the basics of it now we need to play with a purpose we don't really have any strategies or game plans or specific situations so our coach has come up with two plans There's plan number one this is the default strategy default strategy is that instead of on offense keeping third man behind the halfway line we're actually going to set him a little higher up so we're going to have three men in the attacking half we're going to have first man making a play, probably out wide, as it usually tends to be, looking to get a pass in field. So we're quite okay at passing, uh, especially OC, really good playmaker. He's going to look to get passes inside. So, for example, if I'm second man, I will try to take a shot. If I get a shot, it will probably either go in or get saved. Now, if it gets saved, it's going to come back out. That's why third man is going to push up just a little bit higher and he's going to attack the ball straight away. The only thing that this requires is that first man gets out of there really quickly. As long as first man gets out really quick, we should be able to just keep the pressure on and on and on. And uh, we tried it a little bit in training and it did seem to work out. We played some ranked games with this strategy. We scored a lot more goals. The only thing that... Uh, okay. The only negative to it is that we're a little bit more susceptible to those quick counterattacks over the top. So those high balls that go over everyone, they're going to be a little bit harder to deal with. But if the rotations are quick and we move fast, it's not going to be a problem. Now, the second strategy, this is really like if we're losing, it could seem as a little bit more defensive, but it's actually way more offensive. So we have both Chris and Marcus who both don't mind sort of sitting back and playing a bit of a sweeper role. They're going to go left and right across the field in our own half. So the idea is, is that OC is going to predominantly be a first man. He's going to be a playmaker and his job is to try and get the ball to me. Of course, our roles are going to interchange. So sometimes OC will be second man and I will be first and I'll try to get passes into him. Every time we lose the ball and they clear it, third man is there. He's just going to bang it back as hard as he can. He's going to get a power hit towards their backboard. And we're just going to try and keep me and OC in their half the entire game. Of course, you know, when they get more than one man across field or third man isn't able to, to clear it and do that big hit, going to rotate back behind him and, you know, do the usual defensive uh, tactic. But the idea is just to keep throwing the ball in. It's sort of like route one if you watch football, like, uh, you know, Premier League or something. It's just getting the ball long over the top, using the strikers to try and, you know, get something out of it. Uh, it's a last gasp kind of thing. So having said that, we now have a little more purpose to play with, and we're going to go into game one against Fireborn Gaming. Let's get a restraining order tonight, boys. Yeah, oh, here it comes! I got no good right? I just pass. Oh, what a save. Never keep pushing. I'm up. Okay, nice. good. Remember the comms. 
Okay, I'm coming back I'm round, gonna... coming back round. Alright, let's push out. I'm, I'm with you, OC, yeah. I'm with you. Okay, okay, yeah, it's coming back around, let's push this ball. Push out in your back, yeah. in your back. Okay, we need to get the touch as soon as we can. I'm last man. I'm literally <laughs> zero, I, I couldn't <laughs> turn or anything. Alright, in game when I played this, I felt like I was just in a really awkward position and it was not my ball. <laughs> Looking back at it, I have no idea what I was doing. I was clearly just a little stuck. Um, maybe my hands weren't doing what my brain wanted them to do. Yeah, we need to get a touch as soon as we can. I kind of just turned around the ball, didn't get a hit. They went for a shot at the near post. It went in, 1-0 down, less than a minute played. No good. But there's 4 minutes, 18 seconds left in the game. We can still do something. I got bumped. I'm going. Demo. Demo. Yes, Chris, yes! yes! Was... Let's fucking go, <laughs> my guy! <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah! yeah. He's pushing up his third, I love that. We, it's working, boys, it is Go working. Go on, Chris. Seven seconds later, I get a clear off the sidewall shortly after the kickoff. Mesmerizer's there to follow up. He gets an absolute banger at net, and it's 1 1. It's almost like they never scored. Not the best touch of my life. It's over. He's putting that in. Uh, uh, sorry, boys. Uh, no worries. Warm up game. Come on, lads, come on. And what we're finding out is that Fireball One are playing very quick. They get a pass over up to the crossbar. I'm the only man back. Mesmerized and Osi are rushing back, but they're not going to get back on time. And they do make it 2-1. But still three minutes, 44 seconds left in the game. Plenty of time to do something. Follow this. Go for it, Chris. Go on. I'm on this. Okay, that's it. Remember, push up a stay with yeah, him. I'm there, stay I'm with there, him. There, I'm there. I'm there. Give the push up. Okay. okay, that's it. Minimize the Behind distance. You. I'm on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's unlucky. I think Aiden was second there, but I think that was... Let me see. Oh, he was turning, so he thought he was going... Okay, that's fair. All right, no worries. Let's go. All right, so we're having a little bit of a breakdown of rotation. Uh, Chris has gone up for an aerial uh, off the wall. He's not quite got to the ball, and OC and I are a bit confused whose ball it is. We don't really call it out, and it causes a mistake. They get a ball over the top. It's an easy goal for Fireborn. Okay. I'm still mid. I'm on this. Well in. I'll pressure this. Yeah, you got. I'm with you. I'm, I'm still mid. <clears throat> I'm second man. Nice. It's going ah. over me. Uh, it was easy. I'm going to pressure this. Yes. That's well in. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're still in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please win this. I don't want to see Chris's top anymore, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Come on. With two minutes left. The ball comes down the sideline and Chris just keeps the pressure on. He pressures Unholy, one of the Fireborn players, and looks a little uncomfortable. He takes a touch, probably towards his teammate at net, but it's not powerful enough. It goes straight across and it's really close to me. I get an easy shot on target and it goes in. It's 3-2. This is a good scoreline. We're playing against one of the top teams in the league. We're a bottom team. We're the underdogs here and we're fighting. We still got two minutes to go. We can do this. We can come back in. We can get a win. It's over me. I'm on that. Yeah, I'm redirect. Okay, I'm ready. Keep going up center. Okay. Nice. There we go. Well done. Stay up with them. Come on, come on. Gone. Gone. Ah. I'm on this. Oh, okay, it's over me. Oh, close, close. I'm looking. Uh, we, we gotta give space. No, we, we, we don't yeah, have a, a third man at the moment. Yeah. Last two goals, no third man. Three, uh, three goals down, you're going to sweeper. Ah, uh, it's 30 seconds. It's, uh, it's no point. It's, yeah, it's not really worth doing at the moment. Another breakdown in rotation. All three of us on the same side. Uh, Chris doesn't get to the ball. I don't get a hit. OC comes in, goes over the top of me and they have an open net. Easy goal for them. It's 5-2. It's this game is pretty much written off at this point. Oh, I just rush it. Everyone up. Just try and Crazy. get another goal. Okay, considering, considering their first, that was a very fucking good game. Obviously, I think the spacing thing was a big problem, as Aiden mentioned. If someone's playing, remember their range of play is almost an entire square on the pitch. So remember, you've got to allow them the space to play. Take those wide, the wider turns, and make sure you know you're more alongside rather than following. 
because okay. if you're pushing up while they're making a turn, you've got to allow them to make that turn. Because so many times, I think the main double commit cause is when someone's turning around to get a better angle on something, and third instantly rushes up as they turn. Just because they're turning doesn't mean they're going back. If they're going back, they're going to call it. You've just got to trust your teammates' comms. Close. Oh, unfortunate. Sure it's yours, OC. Yeah, nice. Oh, good. Well done. Watch out, man, coming on your back. So, yeah, flick in. Nice, Love. OC. I'm on the wall here. Yeah, I'll yeah, be on this. Oh, yeah. OCs, OCs. Go on, Chris, go on. I'll rotate out. I'll in Aiden. Nice. Across. Go, go for it, Chris. Go okay. Chris, I'm, I'm with you. Come on, dude. Ah. I'll in. Nice. Fuck, dude. Yeah, again. Fuck. One nil down after just over a minute play. And you know what? I think it's a bit unfortunate, a little bit harsh that we're down at this point. We maintained some good pressure in this first minute of the game. You know, OC got a flick up to the to the backboard and I just didn't quite get there. I was just a little bit too deep and I didn't quite get a shot and we had some more opportunities. And this is a bit unfortunate. You know, I've I've gone a little bit downfield waiting for a pass. Mesmeris hasn't quite gotten the touch that he wanted and it's gone over. I've made a save in the end, but we're not we don't get back in time and they get a a, a tap in. Okay, I'm center, I'm center. Okay. Good pass. Oh, it's such a close. Alright, uh, it's unlucky. Yeah. Wow. Close. Okay, not bad. Good to see we're looking for until passes. That's always better. So Mesmerize tries to get a pass down to me. It, and it is a really good pass. I'm just a little bit too close. I'm right underneath it. It's going to be a bit awkward to get up to it. Uh, OC is a little bit far back. He has to sit back because he does see the Fireborn player going up to it. You know, K Phoenix gets to there. He takes a shot and it becomes an awkward save for OC. He doesn't quite get to it and it's 2-0. Trying to demo uh -oh. it. Nice. Keep going in front post. I'm mid. I got zero, I got zero. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay. okay. I'll go in this. Oh, he's got the... Okay, let's switch it up. Chris, your sweeper. Aiden and OC are free range. Uh, let's make OC predominantly first man. Aiden's going to be following up. Chris hit some banging clears to whatever side they're on. Let's go. And it's pretty apparent that the Fireborn pressure they're able to maintain it a lot better than we are. It's really hard to get out of defense and we end up getting boost starved. And here with the third goal, I'm on four boost, um, only man on net. And it's just an awkward position. I can't really do much to save this. It's three nil and, you know, we're putting a lot into this game and I, and I really am proud of the way that we're playing and, and fighting in the game. But Fireborn is just a little bit too much for us. Okay. All right, you fucking trying to demo me. Okay, unlucky. A bit too high up there is third, I think, Chris, but yeah. that was unlucky. Always, boys. So oh, okay. nice pass. Oh, wow. I'll be going for this. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. Ah. Home. Okay, I'll Chris, try to bang that. Good, well done. Don't let it now drop off, off Chris. Let Aiden and OC go. Ah. Okay, go ahead, Chris no, again, Chris again. Hit it up and then drop off. It's fine, drop off. Aiden and OC there. No need to follow that up. Is he going to get that? Yeah. Holy shit, that's I was never definitely... gonna get there with zero boost or five yeah. or whatever I had. That's just a really good shot, isn't it? You can do about that. Oh, I can't air roll though. Okay, so there's definitely a C2. It's so apparent that at this level, the other teams are just mechanically better. Not just like in what they can do, but just consistency as well. You know, we, when we do get some shots off, they make some great mechanical saves. Uh, you know, they can fly backwards up to the ball a lot more consistently than we can. And here, so for the 5-0, Henrik Carson goes up for a really, really juicy, juicy double tap. He gets it in and, ah, you know, what can you say? Okay, we're just going to sub on Marcus now. And we're going to try out the strategy again with Marcus in the team. We'll sub out Chris for Marcus. Let's go. Okay, I need to be yeah, invited. All right, so heading into the third game, we're going to sub off Mesmerize and we're going to sub in Marcus. Pull on up a bit. We got a little time. Okay. Post. I'm in. I'm on it. I'm still back. Dad, watch your shot. No. Oh, that's my turn. Oh. Okay. Let's see, was it a bit too close again? Where OC went. Oh, okay, so they should have waited a little bit as first as third. But again, I thought you, I, you know, 
probably thought he was going to put it on target, so it's fine. Okay, I, I'm admittedly running out of things to say about the Fireborn goals. We were just stretched open. <laughs> stretched open. We were stretched open, and yeah, it's 1 0. Pretty quick goal. I'm on that. Go to, go to. I'm on it. Nice. Lucky that. Back into the center. Okay. Turn. Good turn. What up with him? Stay up. Stay up as third. Stay up as. Stay close. OC, go on. Come on, boys. Yes! Fuck yes! Play play. Okay. Even if nothing comes from this, we got some footage. Alright, so this is a nice little play. It's something we've been working on in training a lot. We've been spending a lot of time sort of like in, well, private matches, but kind of like free play. Uh, just practicing these kind of passes, being alongside each other and sort of flicking it over or hitting it over to your teammate. And it worked out, you know, I flicked it over to OC and he's put it in the net. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's unlucky. We'll go for it. I'm in. Go on, go on, go on. Oh. I'm up. I'm up for this. Run back for this. Nice. I got this. Yeah. Can't do anything else. Are you done turning this? Nice. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Make sure we call it out before it happens. I'm behind you, I'm behind you. I got, I got, I got. I'm still mid. Well done. I'm following back up. Watch your shot. I'm up for this. Okay. Good, that's it. Turn back. Keep the pressure, keep the pressure. I'm They're on it. Fucking struggling. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, they got it out now. I got, I got. Ah. I'm gonna stay. Okay. Oh, shit, terrible touch. I'll be on that. Ah, for fuck's sake! Okay, Mark has one touch. Pushing up. Nice. Let's go, let's oh, go. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Come on, let's get another one. Let's better. get another We got a minute left. Come on. Fireborn are feeling quite confident, uh, you know, as they should. They beat us 5 2 and then 5 0. And uh, they're 3 1 up. But uh, they kind of overcommit a little bit and get a quick counter. Marcus gets it along the side, pass it into the center, and it's a uh, standard easy finish for me. Nothing special. Okay, this is box. Okay, that's ah. over him. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Unfortunately. Not for this. Mm. Oh, I shot. Okay. <sighs> So unlucky. Up to you. Oh, nice. oh, I got sorry, bumped. I wasn't close enough yet. I got bumped. I should shot. Yeah. Yeah, I got bumped. I got bumped on my way back. Yeah, there wasn't much of it. Come back up, center. Oh, my son. Oh, nice. Close. Lunch. Oh. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. Unlucky no. chaps. Still game, boys. <sighs> Considering they were top, overall. That was good. Apart from this game's scoreline was a bit unjust. But I think we definitely put on a way better of a performance and actually made it close. Because all those games were close. We actually scored in every single game, which I don't think we've done before. So that's definitely a good sign in terms of, you know, the aggression on that was good. I think, unfortunately, there's, there's definitely going to be some more spacing things we're going to work on as when and when not to challenge, I think will be the main focus of next time. But I think overall, you did a hell of a lot better than what we would have done and uh, actually made it a close game. Because, they, you know, every other team is going to be worse than what they are. And if we can keep it close with them, then I'm pretty sure we can beat the rest of the other teams. Okay, well, my name's Aiden. This video hasn't been fun to make, <laughs> but uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far and our journey in the Indie Gaming League. Hopefully you can see some improvement from my first video until now. But let me know in the comments below what you think we could be doing better. It's always good to get an outside opinion. Sometimes we're a little bit tunnel vision because we're doing this almost every day. Uh, so it'd be nice to hear what you think we can do better. Anyway, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, give it a like, you know, whatever, and uh, subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch as well. Alright, peace.